Hey guys, this is why I like using a traditional bow. You can just hang it on any pine tree. Hang it on any knob of any tree. I just saw a deer, a doe, and I'm up about almost 10,000 feet. It's getting cooler. So I'm looking for an elk up here. Before I go down and watch my evening trail, I'll keep you posted. Here's a trick I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, when you pack a uh, flashlight, leave a battery out because um, if it's a flashlight that has a button on the end, right there, you can click that button in your bag, never know it. Get up to the top of the mountain at night, need a flashlight, go to turn on your flashlight. It's been on for three hours and it's toast. So I leave a battery out of my flashlights um, I've done that to two or three of them so far, and that's a good strategy. American hunter. Grouse hunting in the Rockies. That's dinner. Alright, so I've just used that Montana longbow right there to take my first game animal. And I got a, a really nice little grouse. I'm just going to clean up the arrow and clean up the bird. And this little spring right here. Skin just comes right off. 
Give me a saving tail feather. Save some feathers. A trophy. That's the pooper right there. Tell you if we were gonna hunt a coyote hanging that wing on a piece of string and making a call, it'd be good. Alright, so we're done with this head. Peaceful little guy. Thank you for feeding me today. Those at the joints. Right there. Yeah, the mama was bigger, but yeah, take a look at this berry right here. This one. Right there, that's what he was eating. It's all gizzards. All right. So he'll cook up nice. <laughs> oh, this one's a real good. Make sure all the feathers are off. There's his heart. I'm gonna eat his heart. The little heart right there. I'm definitely gonna eat that. Throw it out. There we go. Nice little bite to eat tonight. You gotta get all the calories you can get. Yeah. 
chân kìa Ừ, nó đỡ đấy Still nice and sharp Just use a leaf right there And a stick Let's grab the arrow Go back in the quiver. So at this point, I'd be pissed if an elk walked by and I didn't have my bow strung. So I'm going to keep my bow strung. Um, I just skinned and defeathered, however you want to say it, that grouse. And I'm going to go up the trail and continue to make my camp. And uh, Beautiful country. I'll show you why I like a four-man tent. She got so much room inside. I like a big roomy tent. All right, I'm just gonna put the top of this on, load her in, load everything in, and then uh, start a fire. I'm not really thinking there's gonna be any elk up here moving. So, could be some down in that valley, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they were where I shot those grouse. Probably some elk holding in there. Yeah, it's not looking too good for elk, but oh well. I got to the top where I wanted to go today and um, met my goal, so that's what matters. Salt. 
and pepper. That flashlight was on when I opened the bag. So I'm gonna turn it off by disabling the battery. Like I was talking about earlier. Just take one battery out, she won't work. <clears throat> See? There's my lighter. One of them. I found my salt and pepper. Okay. I highly recommend you get one of these and then wrap it when you put it in your bag so you can keep your bag all black. And one of these. That is the traditional American Hunter mess kit. 16 ounce cup and then a fork and knife combo. There's my salt and pepper. Let's get to prepping that bird. So this is saying it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes. To cook and rehydration doubles every 5,000 feet. So this is made in Boulder, Colorado. That's cool. Got some water a boiling. About to make this Backpackers Pantry company out of uh, Boulder, Colorado. Louisiana red beans and rice. So if we're changing the recipe from vegan to Mediterranean, because we're adding that grouse we killed earlier. So all of these have little um, moisture absorber that makes it good till 24. 2024. Alright. It's time to get the water out. Oh. Just spill it. That's okay. Just spill a little. And then once you put that water in there, you close it immediately. Time to prepare for the grouse. Okay. Be able to cook it on that rock. is the sharpest knife of any standard issue outdoor camping gear that you'll ever buy. You rinse that out. Oh, 
go for it. Okay. So. The thickest part of this is the brass, obviously. So we're going to clean that up. Foil would be good too. We're getting some foil. Bam. So let's just take some chunks off the breast right here. Cut through the breastbone. Just kind of half that. So it's easier. Essentially three different parts. I've never had grouse before, so I'm real excited. So excited. Try cooking it on that rock. Let's just see what happens. Let's condense our fire. <sighs> My only concern is it's a river rock and it might split if it has moisture in it. for a stick through the game. That's a soft part. Let's try to get through a little bit on there. I suppose you could whittle that stick down and make it easier, but we're not going to. You could cook two at a time, but we're not going to do that either. Let's just set this right here for now. I'm going to go wash my hands and we'll be back to season it. That was fun. All right. Giving her a good heat and smoke treatment there. I'm going to have these wild grouse that I shot earlier on the trail in my backpacker's pantry. Okay guys, I think she's pretty much done. Let's try this breast first. This is grouse. Colorado Rocky Mountain grouse. Wow. That's pretty good. Cleanest meat. Cleanest, cleanest poultry ever. I can tell you that right now. It's nice and white.
And that is why I am in Colorado on a Rocky Mountain elk hunt with an added, added bonus of grouse. Here's the uh, red beans and rice. Look at that. It's so good. There's a lot in here. This is supposed to serve two people. Mm. There's peppers. Mm. Tomato, onion, New Mexico chili pepper. Just a small amount of sugar. I mean, it's amazing. This is the backcountry. Louisiana red beans and rice. This is how I keep my setup. I got my knife right there by the door ready to go. Got my boots right there ready to slap on. Got my food all in bags. Got my map. My little pin light. Flashlight. Contacts off. Glasses on. And uh, got my longbow put to bed for the night. God, what an awesome day. Oh, I've never been um, elk hunting by myself, so this is awesome. If you ever thought about doing a solo elk hunt, you should do it. Um, got some morning camel up there. And then I have uh, the pants I wore today here. Uh, this pant... This pan is, uh, you, you buy it at Walmart, it's $21.87 and it's got that shiny mountain logo on it. Anyway, the Wranglers. And uh, they repel water. They do all kinds of awesome stuff. So, uh, got my sleeping bag with the little hood and then I got an extra horse blanket. These things are really warm. I'll sleep with that on top of me. This is what you have to deal with in Colorado. Just have to walk across it. It is dangerous, if you're asking. I think they call these blowdowns or something. Anyway, it's a hell of a lot closer to getting to camp faster by taking the logs. And there are no elk in this valley. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. Possibly before daylight, which is not something I normally do. Because uh, I want to be able to see an animal if I walk by it. And you can't do that in the dark. But anyway, I'm going to try a new area. That's all you can do is try, try, try area after area. Looking for solid elk sign, which could be a solid elk. See that black bear? It's about 75 yards up that way. More like 45, 50. That is a Colorado wild black bear right there. I'd give anything for a black bear tag right now.
craziest sun. That's the sun. It's just one big red ball. God, will you look at that sun? This video isn't doing it justice. I had an amazing hunt. I saw three moose, female and two calves. And then, what a way to end the day. The sun like that. So good night folks and thanks for watching Traditional American Hunters YouTube channel.